Hello everyone, I'm Cole from the Kingdom, and today we're talking about Mass Effect Andromeda and the DLC I would have liked to have. DLC has been a pretty big deal for a lot of people that played the game. So first let me address that. Mass Effect Andromeda is a complete story. Maybe we would have all liked more to the game, but I can't complain about what we did get. I mean, humanity in general is so spoiled. We always want more, instead of appreciating what we have. Just about everyone is guilty of that, myself included. Specifically with Bioware, we've gotten to the point that we all just kind of expect DLC. Now, I definitely want to make something clear about why we didn't get DLC for Andromeda. Nothing was cancelled. DLC was never truly planned, because EA was shutting down that division of Bioware no matter what happened. A lot of people talked about how Andromeda killed that division, but business decisions simply don't happen like that. Companies don't shut down because of a bad launch or fan backlash. This was happening regardless. Now, the Quarian Arc. Let me now address something about the book. People also comment about how the planned DLC got turned into a book. That is also untrue. The book was planned before Andromeda even launched. Moreover, it didn't even explain what happened to the Ark in Andromeda. It told a story of something that happened along the journey. Now, let me say, I thought the book was excellent. I highly recommend getting the audiobook, because Tom Taylorson is phenomenal, and I can't imagine the book is half as good without his narration. But about the Quarian Arc DLC. I never expected it, nor wanted it. This bit at the end wasn't a tease for DLC. It was a tease for the future of Andromeda. Like I said, a DLC was never planned, but even if it was, I wouldn't want it. And this is a philosophy about DLC in the game industry as a whole. It would have been a bad kind of DLC. Not that it would have been a bad DLC, but it would have been a bad kind. To explain what I mean, I'm going to use Dragon Age Inquisition as an example. Complete story, and we get a kicker at the end about the true identity of Solus. Then they released a few DLCs, with the final one being Trespasser, a self-contained story set two years after the defeat of Corypheus where the fate of the Inquisition is decided and the Inquisitor discovers the truth about Solus and the Elven Gods. The problem is that this DLC is no doubt required to understand the story of the next installment. Because without it, the player has no idea how the Inquisitor found out the truth about Solus. The player learned his identity as the Dread Wolf, but the Inquisitor did not. We also don't know why the Inquisition is now serving the Divine or officially disbanded. Plenty of other stuff we wouldn't know, but those are the two major ones. Of course, I think most of us got it, but I think it was a bad kind of DLC because it's required to understand the story. Compare that to Jaws of Hakon, which expands the story and lore, but is in no way required to know what happens next. It's a full, standalone story that is not required to understand anything going forward. It just adds more depth. That's a good kind of DLC while Trespasser is a bad kind. No matter how much I enjoy Trespasser, a DLC should never be necessary for people to buy. And that's why I didn't want a Quarian Arc DLC. Because if people didn't buy that, and then bought Andromeda 2, they would have been lost, because the next game would have started with them already integrated into the rest of Helios, with no explanation of how. People should not have to pay more money to understand the story. That's my point. If people want more content or lore, I think it's good they have the option to get DLC, such as Jaws of Hakon, but it shouldn't be necessary for the sequel to make sense, like it is with Trespasser. That's my real point as to why I never wanted a Quarian Arc DLC. Of course, I would have bought it, but that's not the point. The point is, I should not have to buy it in order to understand the sequel. I know I'm really hammering that in, but I feel like I have to. So what DLC would I have wanted for Andromeda? Well, for one, exploring Meridian. I think an expansion where we explore the land above and the structures below the surface. Of course, Remnant would be the main enemies we fight, but there could also be some wildlife and probably new variations of the Remnant. The goal of the campaign would be fiddling around with the Remnant to ensure they don't attack the colonists. This would be a good opportunity to explore more about what the Remnant actually are. This is something that wouldn't be necessary to understand the next game, because as it stands now, I'm just assuming we handled that anyway. I don't need a full-fledged explanation as to how, it's enough to just say it happened. 
The other big DLC I would have liked to see is one where we explore more of Key to Sira. You know, the remnant station that wasn't Meridian. I mean, that place was awesome. They had a full city with working weather. It was on a recent playthrough that I realized it would have made a pretty kick-ass Andromeda Citadel. And it still could be. The main point of this DLC would be pretty much the same as Meridian, making sure the bots don't kill our people and learn more about the remnant. I think it would be really cool if we see some other, maybe failed experiments to create life. So maybe accidentally defrost a hostile group of weird aliens that savagely attack us because they weren't complete. We could spend more time with scientists working there trying to understand the place, it would, it would be awesome. Really, I just want Kita Sira to be a new Andromeda Citadel. I mean, like the original, it's a giant alien station where we just kind of move into. I love the idea of people moving into ancient, abandoned places. I wouldn't want us to obtain full control over it, just enough to live there. Just like the Milky Way Citadel. The bots would serve the same purpose as the Keepers. Maybe that's a little too much of a repeat, I don't know. I just love the idea. Kita Sierra is more advanced, what with the weather and whatnot. I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think. I think the Key to Sierra DLC would deal more with the Angara than the Meridian one, and that could open up a lot of interesting ideas. I also would have liked a DLC for the Ket and some of their stuff. Again, I think they're an awesome concept. I don't have a full idea for them at the moment, but I thought I should probably talk about more than just the Remnant. One idea I have is expanding a bit on stuff they kind of teased us with, which is the other races the Ket have exalted. If you accept the deal with Adin and the other Salarian traders, we get a little note that really gets my curiosity pumping. There's one race that previously worshipped the Remnant. Not sure if they were even in Helios, the Jardan may have had some outer colonies. And then there's the... Elen? Is that how it's pronounced? Well, they apparently still exist, though I can't tell if they actively serve the Ket or if they're independent. It just says they're nomads who find and share knowledge. There's so much room to expand with the Ket, and while I fully expect more in the next game, a good kind of DLC also would have been nice. Maybe also a DLC that handles the worm on Elodin? Maybe that could be another one with the Ket. I mean, since the fall of the Archon, the Ket should be turning their focus away from the Remnant, but this is a concept I like. Maybe the Ket are running experiments on Krogan in an attempt to cure the Genophage, and use that cure to turn them against the other races. Like what Saren did. I don't think it's ever explicitly stated, but I've always kind of assumed Sovereign is the one who actually figured out how to cure it, so Saren could convince them to join. Again, maybe that's also too much of a repeat, but I'd like to see this idea expanded upon with the Ket. Like, we investigate a Ket facility, and we discover what they're trying to do, although they're thus far unsuccessful, and we have to stop them. Drac would probably agree, knowing many Krogan would want to take the deal, but the Ket would definitely betray them. But if the Krogan found out about this, many of them would probably get aggressive against the other races anyway. And this would open up some more moral dialogue about the tragic way the Krogan have been used by everyone, and everyone trying to make decisions for them. It could be very interesting. One final topic I'd like to discuss here is for another kind of DLC thus far not used in Mass Effect. Everyone wants to play as other races, right? That would definitely be a tremendous undertaking to write and voice act so many different races. Inquisition had four voice actors for the main character, and that wasn't always great. Having different races in Mass Effect would be even more difficult. However, here's something that could work self-contained expansions with other races. Like, imagine short vignettes featuring, say, a group of exiles investigating a strange occurrence on Kadara. It wouldn't have to be nearly as long as the main game, probably like half the length of Omega or Mass Effect 3. Another possible vignette back in the Milky Way could be a Turian CSEC officer, or a Quarian investigating Geth reports. Back in Andromeda, you could have a Nexus security agent or an Angara resistance member as main characters. That could be a really great way to let people play as other races. Just full, short stories contained in DLC packs. I'm reminded of the Arkham series DLC, except those are way too short. And of course, dialogue options and at least some minor character customization should be a given. Prices should relate to how long the DLCs are, and of course, none of them should be required. Now, I do have some more stuff to say on what I'd like to see for the future of Mass Effect, both relating to Andromeda and the Milky Way, and the possibility of movies and TV shows set in the universe. 
So if you guys want to see some stuff like that, be sure to leave a comment, and remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. It really helps me out. So I guess that's it for now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later.